I was born just before the Second World War in Bourg-en-Bresse, a small town between Lyon and Geneva. And ever since I can remember, I was always fascinated by the kitchen. I must have inherited the desire to cook from my mother. After the war, she ran several small family restaurants with names like Le Pelican, Chez Pépin, and the Hotel L'Amour. By the time I finished primary school at 13, I knew what I wanted to do. I was determined to become a chef. I can still remember perfectly the first day of an apprentice at the Grand Hotel de l'Europe in Bourg-en-Bresse. That was 50 years ago, and I've been in the kitchen ever since. Welcome to Everyday Cooking. In this series, I'd like to emphasize aspects of cooking which will help you feed yourself and your family. As a professional chef, I may go a bit faster than you do with a knife, but don't be too impressed by it. As long as it's good at the end, that's what's important. The year was 1959, and I decided to gamble and come to America. My luck paid off right away when I got a job working for Chef Pierre Frenet at the Pavillon, New York's most famous restaurant. But then came along Howard Johnson. He offered Pierre that job as a VP, and I went along to become the director of research and development. And this is the way they did it at Howard Johnson. The way I remember it. Mm -hmm. Yes. No! <laughs> I think he bring cooking to uh, another level, particularly when he was cooking with Julia Child. Both of them, they are so funny. A turkey that is made just the way you are. It has the shoulders and the knees and the hips. But if you think of that, you I won't get you so mixed up. I think you look better than a turkey, you know? <laughs> well, We have something better than that, Jack. Oh, that... <laughs> Where did you steal it? He's one of the best teachers in the world. When he came here, uh, everybody loved to say hello to him. Everybody loved to talk to him. He gave advice to the, to the student. He loved to make flour with butter. So for him, butter is a garden. That man is full of talent. He knows how to write. Like a Connecticut Yankee, you know. He paints fantastically. When we have a menu, he makes beautiful things. And he knows how to cook. Everything he's doing is true. This is it. Simple, clear, and true. He's a Renaissance man. Happy cooking. I hope you will uh, forgive my flushed complexion, idiotic grin, and high-pitched squeaky voice. I am so honored and thrilled to be here sitting next to this man. Uh, uh, I mean, chef, educator, author, TV pioneer, Somewhere along the line, you found time to what, become, get a master's degree in French literature from Columbia, a Zelig-like figure in American gastronomy and French gastronomy for that matter, cooked for three presidents. There at every major point in, in culinary history. I mean, uh, Le Pavillon, uh, the early days of Howard Johnson's, a pioneer of uh, the celebrity chef thing, how, where it all started with, you were there, more than seven decades in the restaurant business. Mon cher Jacques, happy 80th birthday. What a great grand celebration for a great chef. Jacques, happy 80th birthday, my friend. Joyeux anniversaire, Jacques. Happy birthday, Jacques. If cooking is a language, I would be mute without what Jacques has taught me. You know, there is no chef or home cook that hasn't been influenced and excited by you and your work. My first lesson from Jacques Pepin was watching him on television and teaching me how to scramble an egg. I went to a bookstore and took a whole week's salary 
and looked at all the cookbooks that were out at the time, Paul Bocuse and others that were so complicated, and then I found the book with pictures and clear explanations. It was called La Technique. And you became part of my life from that day on. Every time I pick up a chef's knife, I think of you. Because of course, you taught us all how to use one. You came here in this dining room, right there at that table, and you cooked a beautiful meal. But you also taught the entire staff how to butcher a whole lamb. Um, uh, that was uh, shocking to us at the time because we were so unprofessional. We love what you've taught us in the kitchen. I'm the luckiest person in the world. I got to work with the best. You never cease to inspire us. You've given the gift of French cooking to so many people and they've made it their own cooking and that's everywhere around the world. You're my hero, Jack. When I go to an event, I'm usually front of house, enjoying the event, meeting the guests, but not with that guy. You end up back in the kitchen. I can hardly keep up with your fast finger work and your talent in the kitchen. Certainly he's a wonderful cook and the techniques are unbelievable. Everybody knows that your skill and technique are incomparable. What we need is people with potato. And I have potato here. Put your potato, put them in the skillet too, and you, your tomato as well. I love tomato. when they are ripe. Tomato. And don't forget to drink your wine. If you don't like it, don't worry about it. Hey, Jacques. Happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday from the International Culinary Center. I pulled a few more deans in to say happy birthday. Jacques, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Maybe a little bit better at the pétanque. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jacques. You are the old man, okay? <laughs> I love you. Bon compliano, Jack. With the rosemary. Welcome to the 80 plus. Now you always in my group. Happy birthday, Jack. Hi, Jack. Happy birthday. Bon anniversaire. Happy birthday, Chef Pepin. Mon cher Jack, je voudrais tout d'abord te remercier pour tout ce que tu as fait pour la cuisine. I'm here in Washington, Virginia, at the Inn at Little Washington, in the Jacques Papin suite, surrounded by memorabilia from our dear friend Jacques' life. Well, what influenced me the most in my career as a chef was Jacques Papin, the person. From the way he treated the staff and his fellow chefs. Thank you for 30 plus years of wonderful working relationship and even more important, a great friendship. I am so grateful to know you. I'm so grateful for the many, many gifts that you've given to our industry. Jacques Papin, you're the most generous person that I know. The idea of giving and sharing and the friends and hospitality is the root of it all. You are a delightful friend to our show. You've been so gracious to me. You sat with me for over two hours and basically told me not to listen to what other people thought go with my passion. There was a moment there, right after Kitchen Confidential came out, where it could have gone badly for me, but you were there for me. So, a lot of ways, I owe it all to you. You're my mentor, you're my friend, and I couldn't be more proud. Jacques, you always have that wonderful twinkle in your eye, and you clearly demonstrate that age is a matter of the heart. So I say happy birthday, kiddo. Young at a heart, young with passion, young with friends. Your spirit is just infectious. I'm very, very uh, happy that you're celebrating your 21 birthday again. I think it's all of the good food and the olive oil, but 80, well, it's the new 50. You look fabulous. I love it when you're on the cover of Food & Wine magazine, our cover boy with a hunky stew. It's your birthday, your 80th birthday. Bon anniversaire, 80 ans. Happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jacques. I have a fantastic 80th birthday. Many, many more happy birthdays. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jacques. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jacques. Happy birthday, Jacques. Happy birthday, Jacques. Happy birthday, Jacques. Happy birthday, Jacques! Happy birthday, Jacques! Happy birthday, Jacques! A very, very, very heavy, 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 heavy birthday, Jacques! All the best for your 80th year. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jacques! Mwah. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday to you. Bon anniversaire, Jacques. Happy birthday!
Jacques Pepin, Feliz Cumpleaños. Bon Cumpleaños, Jacques. Go sin shore. She won you, hey, Jules. Hi, oh, Pasha Donia. Bon anniversaire, Monsieur Jacques. Happy birthday. Not only a happy 80th birthday, but forever happy cooking in the kitchen. Thank you all, and happy cooking. Happy, happy cooking. cooking.